We write a long tarantula fest. Please state your name, talk to the mic. Miss Tarantula. Angela Ayala. Tarantula Fest Committee Coordinator, I guess. <laughs> Just give us a brief update on how everything went. Um, so our first annual Tarantula Fest was held October 7th and 8th in downtown Lahana. Um, I'm a little biased, but I think it went pretty well. Uh, we do have some areas where we can improve and grow, of course, with any first time anything. Um, the community really rallied out. They showed up and the restaurants showed up and our local businesses showed up in a very big way. Um, I was very proud, you know, every day to be from Lanza, but especially that day. Um, people kept commenting how nice the people were and we gave directions. I know a couple of locals took people out from Loaf and Jug to find spiders. We really showed up for it. It was good. Any problems that you seen that you didn't encounter, that you didn't plan for? Planning events is not my first rodeo, so I tried to be proactive. Um, there were a few things we can improve upon, but nothing too major. Maybe some restructuring next year, making everything a little more closer together. Try to remember that the people we're attracting aren't from this area, so when we say senior center or courthouse they have no idea what we're talking about they have just trying to get better with our maps and getting our resources out um, we had a lot of agencies come into our educational pavilion that happened at the Lahana senior center um, we all work together there to really provide information on how to respect the trek um, we don't want you to take our tarantulas or hold them or hurt them or anything that could mess up that trek for us we want to keep it intact so we made sure to push the educational piece of the festival as well as all the fun parts too. Will you guys be playing a second one? Oh yeah, I think so, absolutely. Um, I imagine it's only going to grow. Um, I think I heard the farthest someone had come from, a woman came from Canada with her son just for the festival. Um, I did check in with local businesses because I, I didn't bring in any food trucks and I did that intentionally. I wanted the local restaurants to step up and everybody I talked to said we were busy. We were almost too busy. Um, so I really wanted to give them that jump that early Settlers Day used to bring. I mean, it's great now with the park. Families can mingle a little longer, but this event is really geared toward tourists, people who don't come to our area very often. So I was, I was very happy to give them something in our community to cherish like we do. Thank you. Any other questions for Ms. Leo? I hope to see a city council vote in my parade next year. Thanks. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. I also have to mention, because I won't do it justice if I don't, I'm not a one-woman team. This was not my event. I sit on a committee of about 12 people. We are small but mighty. Um, and we worked really hard to put this committee together and, and turn out a great event but it wouldn't have been anything unless our tourism board started this tarantula thing a few years ago, we wouldn't have had anything to capitalize on. So they worked hard to lay the groundwork and we're just building the momentum. So hopefully this can be even bigger next year. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Can you wake up that little kid in the front row? <laughs> <laughs> she could be so interesting. All right.